The Mercury will be reaching high levels today in this matchup between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Georgia Bulls. Both teams have set their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off. Number five, pass to the five. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Today we get to see how well this quarterback can handle his offense against this very good secondary. There's no doubt that how this quarterback plays will determine the outcome of the game. And I'll tell you, Coach, I think he's going to have a pretty hard time getting the ball to his receiver. A hard time getting the ball to his receivers? Kirk, forget about it. This quarterback is very talented, and he'll make big plays today. You mark my words. Well, I guess we'll find out now, won't we? No, we will. Six DBs in the lineup. And remember, this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Georgia Tech sets up with four receivers. Looking, he gets the pass away. And brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number two is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it off. Number two fields it for 37. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. They'll take over at the 40. it all going long and got him that was a nice play you know we talk about this every week adjusting to the blitz the quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play good looking pass first and ten ball on the 16 yard line the bulldog line up in an eye formation toss and now he's gonna throw it got it to his receiver hey the kick goes a nice pass they need to put him underneath the center a bit more after that one. Well, I think he's pretty good at his normal position, but I like how the coach uses him once in a while for some trick plays. First and goal. They're threatening inside the 20. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Up the middle. They'll get him for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. They're at the five. Second down and goal. They're in the eye. Tosses it out. And he's going to throw. What can you guys say about that play? That was something else. Well, I think the defense is still trying to figure out what happened. You don't see stuff like that too often. They'll line up for the point after. Set. Hey. And he hits the PAT. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Georgia, seven. Georgia Tech, nothing. Georgia, yet set to kick this one away. Number five and number 89 back to return. Decent kick. Number five, fields it at the two, and he dives forward. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. This drive will start at the 25. The Yellow Jackets line up with a single set back to you. He looks to throw on first down. He's going to take off. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. And he tucked that one in for about five yards.
We've got a second and five. After a quarter of play, our score is Georgia 7. Two minutes to go in the half. The defense lines up with six DBs. He drops back. He lets it go. And that one's incomplete. He was wide open, guys. They missed a big opportunity on this play. He had a guy open, but he just couldn't get in the ball. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 30. Georgia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Too much yardage that time. What do you think, Coach? I think you can't blame the back on that one. I don't care how good an athlete you are. You're not going to be able to showcase your abilities without someone. Number 31 awaits the snap. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number two takes this to 36. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. They come out with three wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. Falling back as he throws. And this one falls incomplete. Thrown just a bit too far for the wide receiver. From their own 39-yard line. It's second down and 10 to go. Georgia comes out of the shotgun. Look at the throw. He's rolling right. Once and all, going deep. Off his hands and incomplete. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third down. Third down. The Bulldog with four receivers. Back to pass. He wants it all. Got it. He's all the way down. To the 30. Hey, if they were ever looking for a playmaker, then they found one in this wideout. Yeah, he really broke it open on that catch. Don't be surprised if the quarterback looks for him again very soon. The Bulldog go with the eye formation. It's right. Halfback pass. And he just called in his second touchdown catch of the day. The defense needs to put somebody on this guy before he does some serious damage. Getting pressure on the quarterback is also key. You can't let this guy play pitch and catch with his receivers all day. They're setting up for the PAT. Set. Hey. He makes the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter. And our score is Georgia 14, Georgia Tech nothing. Number 23 is lined up to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number 89 from his own end zone. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. The Yellow Jackets come out in the ace formation. Tosses it out. Number 20 loses it. Picked up by the linebacker. Collision. And that turnover has got to hurt. Yep, they want to wreck them some points before the half, but it's not going to happen now. Not when they turn the ball over. That's not what you're looking for. That's a shot to the morale of this team. It's bad enough they were already losing going into the half. Georgia looking to make this a three-score game. Georgia sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. They bring him down. So credit that one to the defensive end. We've got second and goal. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Looking to throw. Rolls right. There he goes. Breaks one. Brought down at the four. About nine yards there on the quarterback scramble. Third down now and goal to go. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. One out to the left. Oh, and he came down with it. What a catch. What a 
Perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation, and that's elevated the level of play for his teammates. If I was a scout, I'd make sure I bring lots of notebook paper to this young man's games. And he adds the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Georgia, 21. Georgia Tech, nothing. Georgia, ready to kick this one off. Number five and number 89, set to return. And this one's away. Number 89, feels it in the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Georgia Tech lines up in a goal line set. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. We still have a half left to play, but right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, Georgia, 21. Georgia Tech, nothing. 